J.P. Alexander, the Beloved Dogs Unleashed, and uh, today is Monday, uh, March, March what, March uh, 21st, 2022. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about several things, all stem from the same thing. Uh, remember when... Trump spied on Hillary and used the Russians to do it. Oh no, that wasn't Trump, that was Hillary spying on Trump and uh, doing it while he was a candidate for president and when he was the president of the United States. Okay. We were told something completely different, completely the opposite, and we went through years of investigation Tens of millions of dollars of taxpayer money spent on a um, witch hunt that they knew was bullshit. Okay. Um, remember when we were told that, oh, coronavirus started in a wet market. No, it actually started in a lab. We're funding. And we partly fund. So Fal Falchi, the man we were told to listen to, is actually responsible, partly, for means of deaths worldwide. Okay. Remember when we were told the laptop, Hunter's, Hunter Biden's laptop, was really Russian propaganda, Russian bullshit. Russian, the Russians did this. The Russians got the laptop some way and put some misinformation in it. Oh, now we're being told that that wasn't the case at all. Do you see where I'm going with this? Does anybody see that we can't trust this this uh, this administration? We can't trust the establishment. We can't trust the media. Can't trust any of them. We ultimately find the truth, but it's too late. Nobody cares at that point. Well, Hillary Clinton spied on Trump. Well, we didn't catch her at that time, so we worry about it right now. Hunter Biden was doing some nefarious activities with his father and his father was president. Yeah, but, you know, we didn't find it that. Do you think maybe Russia's not really our biggest threat right now, our biggest enemy right now? If I was Putin, I'd be a little pissed off at us too right now. Because everything we're blaming, we're blaming on him. We're blaming on Russia. Why? It's a good boogeyman, right? It's a good ghost. To blame it on. To blame everything on. I'm starting to get the feeling that nothing is true. Everything that we're being told is bullshit. Maybe we'll eventually find out about later, or somebody will find out about later, but at that point, it's not going to really matter. We're going to be swept under the, the carpet. Fauci, the man we're told to listen to, listen to him. He's, he's the scientist. He's the brains behind this. He's the person you're going to listen to. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Listen to him. Listen to him? A man who's funding what we're all trying to avoid? It was created in this lab in Wuhan, China. An escape from this lab in Wuhan, China. We are partly to blame because we're partly funding this thing that's been created in Wuhan, China, in a lab. That got out. So we're... Fauci, too, and the United States government, are probably responsible for the means that that's worldwide. Ah. That sounds like something that should be a bigger story right now, but it's not. Now, Hunter's laptop, we're being told, oh, it was true. Well, a lot of people knew it was true. A lot of people believed it was true, have believed it was true since it was first reported. But the media who seems to me like it's really not people trying to find out the truth as much as people trying to subvert the truth, taking orders from a higher power. It's a sad day. It's a sad day when you can't trust the, the, uh, the, the, the media to try to find the truth. Remember, remember when the media was like... Uh, Washington Post was responsible to help out find out about Watergate. Remember that? These stories, to me, are just as big 
is Watergate means more means more people died from uh, you know the coronavirus than died uh, because of Watergate. It brought down a president. This isn't gonna bring down a president. I'm being told it's nothing. Now I'm not here to you know. Uh, Hawa 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 Trump. I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm saying a lot of what he's saying is turning out to be true, isn't it? But when we're finding it out, it's too damn late anyway. Maybe we're going to find out that Joe Biden and and the Democrats did have something to do with stealing the election. Oh well, that that was then. Can't really worry about that. We got to move forward, right? I don't. I don't trust anything that comes out of their mouth. I don't trust this. You know them sending out the horn for war right now. I sure hope not. I don't want to go to war based on the bullshit they're telling me because they've been knowing a lie. I don't believe anything that they're telling me at all about anything, and the media neither. It's sad when the media used to be people trying to find out the truth. While the government's lying to us. Now, they're basically <laughs> running rough shot. They're, they're running interference for the government. <laughs> really? Is that what the media is? Just uh, another wing of the government? Really? Sounds like a communist country to me. Doesn't sound like the America I grew up with. Doesn't sound like the America I know and love. I thought I knew. I thought I loved. Now, right now, I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a sad day today. I just found out that that the Hunter Biden laptop case has been, you know, oh, uh, it, it, it was true all along. Well, we knew that. Is arrest going to be made? Well, no. It was just true all along. You know that thing? You told, remember that thing a month, a month ago that you don't have a speech? <laughs> remember when your girlfriend said she wasn't fucking sucking some other guy's dick? Yeah, that, it was true. Remember that? Yeah. You went married. <laughs> just, that's, that's funny. If you would have known then, but you didn't, so ah, shit, you kind of kind of stuck with it right now, right? Wow, uh, you know, and the thing is, we knew it back then too. We knew it was it was true, but you know, we couldn't tell you that. We had to lie and make you believe otherwise, because now you know the truth, but you, know, you can't do much about it. So you know, we succeeded in doing our job, which is to make you not know what happened when it would probably count more. Now you know after the fact, and you know, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Biden did help draw the election, help fix the election. The Democrats did. And that's how he won. <laughs> it was years ago. We spent tens of millions of dollars on investigation into Trump, but it, we know it was all bullshit. We manufactured the whole thing. It wasn't true. This is what Trump gets for trying to Come into our party. It's our party, okay? The Democrats and Republicans, we own it right now. You can't have an outsider come in and try to fuck things up. This is what gets me about this whole thing and Trump. Trump isn't Trump. He is, but he, he, he stands for something bigger. An outsider getting in somehow. Now, I'm not saying Trump is not our savior. I'm, no, I'm not saying Trump is our savior. He's not our savior. He's not. But I want him to open the door for others to come in, others who are outsiders who don't need co corporate money, who don't need all this money. Imagine if you got somebody, man or a woman, who got tens of billions of dollars of their own money. They retire. They sell everything. They got money up the ass. They don't have to work the rest of their life. And they can run for, for President of the United States. And they don't need to take anybody else's money. And they come into the government, and they and if they win, they win by just telling you what they think. And they look at everything. And they look at everything, and they go, hmm, Paris Accords, this, we're in the UN, this, that, and the other thing, the NATO. And they look at everything, and they go, oh, that's nothing. we're not getting our money's worth out of this. 
What? Let's stop this, you know? And somebody who actually does something based on principle and their beliefs, not based on money. We're going to give you money if you, no, 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 I, I don't need your money. I don't even need, want my $400,000 a year that a person gets paid. I, I'll give that to a charity. I just want to do what's right for my country. I love my country. And I want to do what's right by it. And I'm going to take everything, bring everything to my desk. War, that doesn't sound like a good idea. I don't think we should go to war with Russia over the Ukraine. I don't think so. I think we should stop putting things in Ukraine and using them to have uh, missiles pointed at, at Russia. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe if, if, if Russia got along with Mexico and had missiles pointed at us, we'd be fucking pissed off also. Maybe. Maybe we need somebody in there to do the right thing by us, you know? What's right for Americans? Not for me. We'll give you $100 million. I don't fucking care about your $100 million. I don't want it. I'm doing this. But if you do something we want you to do, we'll give you money. I don't care about your money. I have a lot of money. I don't need your money. I'm going to do the right thing for the American people. Maybe we need that right, right now. Maybe we need more people like that right now. I'm not saying Trump was like that. I'm not saying. But Trump, I believe, was the first outsider to, to get into the presidency in a long time, if not ever. If not ever. So if we let the media and the establishment put him down and call him every name in the book and make sure he never gets elected again, okay, that's fine. But don't make sure that nobody like him gets elected again, meaning an outsider. This is what they want you to do. They want, they're lying to us about a lot of things because they don't want somebody like him to get in ever again because they own it. They control it. There's a money train that comes in and it gives them money and they're making a lot of money when they're in power. And when an outsider is in power, they're not making that money. I believe that wholeheartedly. I believe that with every inch of my being. Oh, Trump's really the bad guy. They're all good. That's okay. The establishment is good. It's one guy who's doing all this. He's the bad guy. Really? One guy? He has the power to do all that? Smartest motherfucker in the world, I guess, right? And everybody else is innocent. It's just that one guy. Washington was perfect. It was running great until this guy, he came in and just fucked everything up. I can't believe that. I'm sorry. I can't buy that. I, I, I just, I, I, I just, uh, you ever seen the movie Contact? Anybody seen the movie Contact? Jodie Foster goes through whatever she goes through in that movie. And at the end, they're blaming this one guy who perpetrated a hoax on everybody. Jodie Foster knows what she saw, but she can't prove it. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. It's called faith. And, you know, faith. and she had, I mean, she knows what she saw, and she explained to him, and they go, well, we can't prove it. Well, then I guess blame it all on that one guy. Instead of blaming, you know. <laughs> Instead of saying, hey, she knows what happened. It's weird that it happened, but she knows what happened. But no, this one guy, he's the one who perpetrated it. Because... He, he has a reason to spend hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars even, to just perpetrate a hoax. That's what he wants to do. Trump wants to do that. He wanted to do that to fuck with the American people because that's really what he wanted to do. He had that much power in Washington. He has no power in Washington. He's got no power now. His power is talking to people and having people like That's his power. He's got no power in Washington D.C., he's having no power in his, in his own city, even. You think this one man did, I mean, Jesus, really? You believe that? And as, uh, the media is telling me that, I, 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 especially now, I tend not to believe it. I tend not to believe it at all. I tend to think there's a reason why they're after him. Because, again, they don't want somebody like him to ever get in power again. We're getting to the point in the United States where an, an outsider, just a regular good person, not saying Trump's a good person, can't get in there, can't, can't, can't get in there, can't break in there. Oh, Obama, he's different. No, he's not. He was vetted like everybody else is. He was a puppet, too. There's puppet masters, and he's the puppet, just like Biden is. You know, just like 
bush party boys. You know. I, this is what I, I'm starting to believe right now. Because a lot of things are coming out and they happen to be true. And people are telling us, the establishment is telling us no, the government is telling us no, and the media is telling us no. Then we do f find out it's too late to do anything about it. Oh, tens of millions of taxpayer money was wasted on, you know, I was watching C-SPAN. It was all bullshit. They knew it was bullshit. They, 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 and how many people were going through with it? Wasn't there anybody to say, excuse me, I'm a, a Democratic Congress person and this is bullshit. We even said we're told to lie. I can't lie. I guess they won't be invited to the Christmas party this year if they did that. Uh, or they'll ruin them too. Go along. Do we have any... any Anybody have any principles, any morals? Any, hey, I, I have to do what I have to do? It, it's called you stand on your principles. You stand what you believe in, you know? I know, it sounds weird, but nobody who's at that high echelon is like that. They're not like that. I, me, just poor, poor fucking average schlub, I have principles. You could say to me, John, I want you to go to court and lie. I killed somebody, but I'll give you $10 million of your life for me in court. I'd say, fuck you, and I'd go tell the authorities he killed somebody. I'd say, he's trying to pay me to lie. That's my principles. i probably get killed because of it, but that's my principles. How many people are going to... Probably, no, I don't know. I'll just say to me, I do my responsibility to make sure. Okay. To me, I, money doesn't drive me. I don't, you know, care. I have, you know, enough where I'm, I'm living, you know. I have enough. I don't have anywhere near what these people have, but it doesn't seem like it's ever enough for these pe people, you know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just, I'm sitting here really perplexed about what we're going to do about it because it doesn't, I don't think we can do anything about it. When you got everybody at top in a certain mindset, how are you going to change? You're not going to change. You're not. Even if people rally again, what are they going to do? Mm. Nothing really. Even if they do something very little, like January 6th, uh, you know, forget it. There's still investigations about that going on. Like somebody was really trying to overthrow the government. That's really, uh, that's the best they're going to do? If someone's really trying to overthrow the government, it would be done a lot better. And you can't overthrow the government for <laughs> by storming the Capitol. That's not going to work out. It's just a bunch of idiots. That's all that was. You know, but that's being made a big deal, so we can't think about this other stuff, like Hunter Biden's the laptop, you know. Uh, the fact that Hillary Clinton was spying on Trump, not the other way around. Here's another thing, too, that Hillary Clinton's genius is doing. Blame others before they start to blame you. You're doing X, Y, and Z. You know you're doing X, Y, and Z. You don't want to be caught doing X, Y, and Z. Before I get caught doing X, Y, and Z, Blame that person. Let's finger that person for doing the same thing. We know they're not doing it, but let's get our media cronies to just, you know, totally throw everything at th th this story. If they do find out the truth, it's going to be too fucking late anyway to do anything about it. Who cares? And then we can blame them and say, well, they're just coming after me because, you know, we, we went after them for that, you know? You know, uh, Trump was working with Russia the whole time. Really? Trump was working with Russia the whole time? You, you believe, does anybody really believe that? I believe Hillary was, was working the whole time. And maybe even with Russia. Maybe the Ch Chinese. I think the, the Chinese myself are, are, are much big, are, are bigger threat. But no, 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 we can't say anything about them. We can say things about Russia because Russia is not giving us money and Russia is not even a power anymore. Or she's nothing. Or we can blame them. Let's blame the boogeyman who's not there instead of blaming the real boogeyman. Because we're getting rich off the real boogeyman. <laughs> Making a lot of money off the real boogeyman. I don't think you understand the level of money we're getting from, you know, the real 
a boogeyman. Learn to love the Chinese. How much they're giving us? How much we're, we're making? How much money I'm pocketing? At the end of the day, not just me. I'm going to die soon. My kids, my kids' kids, my, you know, this money is going to be passed on generations. We're, we're talking a lot of money here. The president doesn't just make... I was stupid at one point in my life. I thought the president made $400,000 a year. Well, when I thought it, it was less. And that was it. I said, wow, this president, people are doing it because they really care about it. Well, was I fucking stupid? Was I, 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 was, I was so dumb. They're not doing it because they're getting paid $250,000 a year. They're not getting paid you know, doing it because, they, you know, they care. They, they're doing it because they're making a lot of fucking fuck you money somewhere else. And, you know, they're lying to us so they can keep making that money. I guess the end justifies the means, really. Let's keep these people in power and let's keep the money train going, you know? Media is a part of it. Media will lie, will do whatever they have to do to get Trump out. And I think that the media is probably responsible for getting Trump, Trump out. Okay, I guess they, they succeeded. Hey, you won. You got him out, you know? And the money train continues, you know? I thought you had an integrity. I thought you had some kind of integrity to, to, to report on what's going on and not really pick sides. But, uh, of course, that's not true. There was a day when you didn't know what Walter Cronkite stood for. Oh, he was friends with Kennedy. He was on, on John Kennedy's boat. He was, but you didn't know that. You didn't know that because he was trying to be, you know, in the middle, trying to be... You know, not towards any party, you know, even though you, if you looked at enough, you could probably tell, but slightly, not not now when it's so obvious, you know, oh, we, we'll lie for you, not even lie for you, we'll censor those who are telling the truth, we'll censor them, and then when they, with their voice is finally heard, it's too late, no one's going to care, you know. the country I'm living in right I guess so I guess this is the country I'm living in right now and it's upsetting it's upsetting because more stories are coming out all the time so I can't believe anything the government tells me and I can't believe anything the media is telling me and I wouldn't believe it if I was you either don't put on the news because they're not telling you the truth <laughs> They're not. That's not the truth. That's not the news. That's what they want you to believe. That's all I gotta say about that. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. It's, 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 I'm upset. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm really upset. What's going on in this country right now? And uh, I don't know what the answer is. I don't. I'm kind of at a loss for. I, I don't know what to do. And. Do we even have enough people to do anything anyway? Or are we just going to go along with it, you know? I guess as we, well, you know. Hey, maybe if they put gas back to $2 and change a gallon, I guess that'll be okay. No one will care at that point, you know? Maybe the only saving, maybe the only thing we have right now to hope for is that gas goes up to $10 a gallon and somebody puts their foot down and says, we got to do something. And the masses rally behind them. I guess, uh, maybe. I know, hoping for, for the worst so we could uh, survive this. Uh, that's, 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 that's not a good, uh, a good strat strategy, but uh, that's maybe what we've gotten ourselves into. Anyway, that's all i got to say about that. This has been J.P. Alexander for the Dogs Unleashed. Until the next time, ciao.